Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at constructing a basic program in Python using the Turtle module, and also look at some fundamental concepts just associated with programming. So what exactly is a program? A program is just a sequence of instructions that can be understood by a computer to perform some particular task. And these tasks can be fairly simple, like the one that we're going to be writing today, or they can be really complex. So if we think about the Windows operating system or the Linux operating system, or really any operating system, those are very complex programs. If we think about modern uh, video games, uh, such as Legend of Zelda or the many other games that exist, then those games are very complex as well. And it takes a while before you get really the, the programming wherewithal to write an operating system or write a sophisticated 3D video game like the ones we have today. So in terms of writing a program, initially one of the hardest things to do is getting the syntax right. And so whenever we're talking about the syntax, it's just simply the rules that define how we can combine some symbols that are acceptable to a particular programming language. Uh, the nice thing about the programming language we're going to be using, Python, is that it's fairly simple in terms of its syntax in comparison to other languages. The harder part, though, in terms of writing a program, is this idea of devising an algorithm. And an algorithm is just simply the set of instructions to perform a particular task. So we can write algorithms independent of any particular programming language. So there's algorithms for pattern matching, so for face recognition or voice recognition, for searching, so anytime that you use a search engine like Google or DuckDuckGo or whatever it may be, uh, they are using fairly sophisticated algorithms to perform that search. Sorting, so how do we go about ordering things? Uh, rendering an image, so how do we go about filling in polygons in a very efficient manner? All of that's very difficult and requires a lot of thoughtful and careful ways in, in solving these particular problems. So today we're going to be looking at this turtle module in Python, and if you haven't watched my video on setting up PyScript or an idle, which is another integrated development environment to use with the uh, turtle module, then I'd recommend watching that video first. And I'll provide a link in the description uh, of where you can find that particular video. So the turtle module is basically going to provide us with a really great way to start programming since it provides us with graphical feedback for the commands that we're going to write. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to Google and do a search for Python turtle so we can look at the official documentation. So let's go and do that. All right, so I'm at Google.com and we're going to just do a search here for Python turtle. And it turns out that the very first result returned from that search is the actual official documentation about the turtle module at uh, python.org. So let's go ahead and select that particular link and we can start looking at the documentation for this. And if we scroll down a bit, so there's a lot of stuff going on here in terms of the Python documentation for the turtle module, but eventually you'll get to what's called turtle methods. And these are just the procedures, our functions, the operations that we can do associated with our turtle. So we can make our turtle move forward, backward, turn right, turn left, uh, go to a particular location, uh, set a heading, draw a circle, uh, tell us the position, maybe a heading, maybe a distance. So there's all sorts of things associated with our turtle that we can actually do. So you can go through here and read this and you can click on any one of these commands that we see, any one of these operations, uh, more formally called methods, and see what it involves. So if we click on forward here, you can read the documentation for that particular operation. So in the case of forward, we specify some particular distance and this distance is going to be measured in pixels which are picture elements. So it gives you an example here. So you can say turtle dot forward open print 25 close print and it's going to move the turtle forward in whatever direction he's facing 25 pixels. So that's just one of the commands that we have available to us here in the turtle module. There's many others. And so let's go ahead and go back into PyScripter and write a program using some of these commands to see what we can do. Okay, so now we're over here in PyScripter and PyScripter is going to be the environment we're going to use for writing our Python programs. So the very first thing we need to do before we start writing anything for our little turtle program is make sure you get a run, then move down to Python engine and make sure remote TK is selected and not remote. So remote will be selected by default. We don't want that. We want to have remote TK in order to be doing the things we're going to do for the rest of this video. So go ahead and select that and then move down here to where you have Python interpreter. 
So the Python interpreter allows us to type in commands and then interactively see what happens as a result of that particular command. So the very first thing that we need to do in order to start using the turtle module is to import the turtle module. So we need to do import uh, turtle and hit enter. And once you have that, you now have all the features, all the functionality associated with the turtle module available to you. So the next thing we'll do is just specify a particular variable name. So a variable name is just a way for us to refer to something. And what we want to be able to refer to is a particular turtle. So we'll just write turtle dot and then capital turtle or capital T and then turtle. And the rest of the word turtle open print close print. So make sure you're using the same exact casing that I'm using. So we have lowercase turtle dot and then a capital T and then the rest of the word uh, turtle. And so we're going to be able to refer to this particular turtle here by this letter T. So this is basically a, con a convenience thing that we've done here. It's not actually required. And once you do that, go ahead and hit enter. And now you should see that we have this Python turtle graphics window appearing. And at the very middle of that window, or the very center of that window, you should have a little arrow. And this arrow is the default representation of our turtle. And we can change the default representation of that turtle, and we'll do that in just a bit. Uh, so this is set up on a Cartesian coordinate system. So you can imagine that we have a, a y-axis here and an x-axis. And right now our turtle is at position 0, 0. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and resize uh, these windows here so hopefully we can have both the uh, Python turtle graphics window and the code that I'm writing in an area where you can actually see both fairly well. Okay, so I've resized the windows so hopefully you can see both the code and our, our turtle. And the first thing that we're going to do is to change this arrow to look like a turtle. So the way we go about doing that is just simply say t.shape. So we're trying to say that this turtle t, uh, we're going to change the shape of it. And the shape we're going to change it to is going to be specified by this sequence of characters, as you can read, turtle. Uh, so what we have going on here is this shape is just simply an, a specific operation. And we say more formally that it's a method. And what we're trying to say is we want to do the method or the operation of changing the shape, which has the name shape, and then specify what shape we want to do. And it turns out some methods will actually have arguments specified inside of these open print and closed prints. In other cases, they won't. So uh, you, you see here that we also have an invocation of a special type of method here um, specified by the word turtle. And it doesn't take any particular arguments, or at least we haven't specified any arguments there in that particular case. So go ahead and hit enter now, and you can see that our turtle change shapes from the arrow to this turtle shape. All right, so now that we have our, our turtle shape, let's go ahead and make this turtle maybe make a square. And the turtle has a pin associated with it, so every time the turtle moves, by default, it's going to draw a line from its current position to whatever position it ends up at after we complete some particular operation. So what we're going to do is have our turtle move forward by 100 pixels. So a pixel is just simply a picture element. It represents a tiny little dot on your computer screen, and the little dots can have different colors associated with them. And if you have a bunch of those together, then you end up with some particular picture or video on your monitor. So what we're going to do now is just say T dot and use the forward command, open print, and specify how many pixels we want to move forward. So we want to move forward 100 pixels. So let's just enter in 100 and then hit enter and you can see that our turtle has now moved forward. And if we want to do a square, we're going to have him turn maybe left. So do T dot left and then specify the number of degrees. If, so if we want to do a 90 degree turn uh, to the left, we just specify 90. So that's a left turn. And now we'll say uh, T dot forward again. So you can just use your up arrow key and cycle through the commands that you previously typed. So we now have T dot forward 100 and then we can do t dot left 90 and then t forward 100 uh, t left 90 and then t forward 100 and then we'll do one more uh, t left 90 just to put the turtle back in the same orientation in the same position that he was at whenever we began this program. So this is a, uh, a fairly simple program that we wrote here unfortunately since we wrote it inside the Python interpreter we're not capable of, of saving and running this again. So what we need to do, 
put all this code in a module and then save that module as a file on our computer system so that we could run this program again. And the way you would go about doing that is, well, what we can do is save all these commands here or copy these commands. So let's go ahead and select those commands and then right click and then select copy no prompt. So that just copies all these commands without actually copying the prompt which is represented by those three greater than uh, symbols. So just do copy no prompts. I'm going to go ahead and expand PyScriptor again and what we're going to do is replace all of this code here that we have with the code that we type below in our interpreter. So we'll do that and now we can save this particular file. So I'm going to do a file save as, and I'm going to just save this is my uh, turtle program. And click on save. And now we can go and run the same exact turtle program and see what happens. So go ahead and press the uh, green arrow button here to run the program. And you can see that whenever we ran this, Turtle actually drew the square without us typing in individual commands. So all that happened is it executed each one of these particular commands in sequence to do the exact same thing that we had before. So I think that's going to be it for this particular video. But we'll probably pick up here in the next video and make some improvements upon this particular program. So that's it for now.